Hey guys, hope you're well. This will be a fairly short lesson, but a pretty cool lesson. I'm going to show you something that makes your graph look a lot better. Now, you might be wondering, like, why would you need to know this? Well, it's just interesting in real life um, when they're showing you, like, graphs in, like, a magazine or something. They can change it to make it look the way that they want you to see it, if that makes sense. They can make it look... They can change the numbers so it looks different to what it is. They manipulate it. I, that'll make more sense when I show you an example now, okay? Right now, you're probably like, what is this guy smoking? Um, you'll see now what I'm talking about, okay? So check this out. Here we're going to plot. So we have a person who's losing weight, okay? And this would be the wrong way to plot the points, okay? So look here, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so we could probably go, we go one, two, three, four, and I'm just going to add another one here. Um, that's not the wrong thing. I just didn't make my graph big enough, okay? That's all fine. Nothing's wrong with that. Okay. Um, now, and this would be this would be uh, months. Remember, we've learned in the previous lesson that this is your independent, which always goes on the x-axis over here. Let me write that a bit better. My goodness. And then this one at the bottom is always the dependent. And that goes over here. Okay. Now, it goes, uh, the smallest value is 71, and then the largest value is 80. So, for example, we could go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, when I say wrong, I'm just saying it's not the best way, okay? Because look at what's going to happen here. If we go plot 1 and 80, 1 and 80, okay? And then we go plot 2 and 77, 77 would be like there. And then 3 and 76, it's like there, maybe a little bit lower. And then 4 and 74 would be like here, no, maybe like there. And then 5 and 71 would be like there. Okay, now if your friend tells you they've lost weight, now if you had to go draw this, this would be continuous, so we can connect the dots. You wouldn't really think that they've lost that much weight, right? Like... It doesn't look like their weight has gone down by that much. Now, what if we did it this way? Check this out. So we're still going to keep the y, the x-axis the same. One, two, three, four. And then we're just going to extend it over here. Sorry about that part, guys. Five. Okay. Okay. Now, everything else is the same. Months and then kilograms. But now, notice how we never used this part of the graph. We literally just squeezed everything up at the top there. So what we can rather do, I showed this in the previous lesson, we can use that funny symbol that goes like this, okay? That what that symbol means is, and it looks like a heartbeat, it goes like this. It just means we're skipping a whole bunch of numbers, and then what we could do is we could start at 70, then go to 72, 74, 76, 78, 80. Now look at how much better this is going to be now. Because now we could plot 1 and 80, which would be over here, and then 2 and 77, so 2 and 77, which would be there, 3 and 76, and then 4 and 74, which would be there, and then 5 and 71, which would be like there. Okay? Now if you connect the dots, look at that. You can now see more easily that your friend has definitely lost weight. You can see that the line is going down, whereas over here, because we were using all of the values up at the top here, you can hardly see that this is a, um, that that is a, a line that is going downwards. So can you see that by choosing the correct, the way to present this part over here, you could have a very big impact on the information that you are telling people. Let's do another example. So once again, months would go at the bottom, months, and then uh, this would also be months, and then rainfall measured in millimeters. Okay, so the rainfall goes from uh, 295 to 315. Okay, so we could maybe go, so maybe go in 40s, 40, 80, uh, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, and 320. Now, for the months, we could just say uh, one, we're gonna have that same little problem again, two, three, four, and then let's just add on. 
Okay, and then five. So we could say like one and 295, which would be somewhere over there. Uh, two and 300, which would be over there. Three and 304, which would be there. And then four and 310, that would be more like there. And then that would be, so four would be, uh, no, it would be a bit higher, like there. And then 5 and 315, which would be like there. Okay, so it's a bit tricky, right? And now if we had to connect them, that's what your graph would look like, okay? Now, the correct way to do it, because you see how we never used any of this part of the graph. So that's a bit of a waste. And this line almost looks like it's a straight line. It doesn't even look like it's really going up by much. So what we could rather do is, um, okay, so we're starting at 295. So we could rather use that little symbol that says, okay, we're going to skip a whole bunch of numbers. And we could just say like 295, 300, 305, 310, 315, okay? So we're using more of the graph now. And then our months would still be the same. One, two, three, four. And then we'll just add this piece on and five. Okay, so then one and 295 would go there. Two and 300 would go over there. Three and 304. 4 and 310, and then 5 and 315. Can you see how much better this looks now? We can clearly see, um, we can see more, we can see the trend or the pattern more easily. Whereas here, it's not really nice, okay? Um, so you see, by just choosing your scale correctly and choosing your correct starting position, you can make, you can use more of the graph compared with over here, we hardly used anything.